peppy chatter of junior hires. Happy to be done with school for the day is a comforting sound following yesterday's evacuation from a bomb threat. If there's any threats of these kinds, um, we're going to investigate them fully, um, no matter what the threat is. Monday's threat to the Mount Nebo Middle School was the third in less than two weeks. The first bomb scare came in on the 19th, the second last Tuesday. The first threat is very different from the second. The second one was just that the, the middle school was going to explode in one hour's time. The district believes it could be connected to a dress code incident a few weeks ago between two groups of students that spread across social media. 11 and 12 year old students sometimes do things that are unusual. Sometimes they'll show up dressed as an athlete. Sometimes they may show up with a headband with ears, which actually was a situation that occurred at Mount Nebo. The feds are working with Payson officers to find the person or people behind the sinister emails. The department could not confirm whether it's coming from nearby or out of state. The district has now upped its security until school's out May 23rd. Rather than the blurry, grainy video that you sometimes get from security cameras, we now have HD video in our schools so that we can really see what's happening. That, as well as alarm systems, a stationed officer here every school day, more people from the district and additional counseling resources. And we're also doing things in our classrooms. Our teachers are having conversations with students about caring for each other and building that sense of community in the school because they are a school community. The district spokesperson says that emails do not specifically mention an individual or student, just the school in general. Reporting in Payson, Emily Tenser, Fox 13 News, Utah.